Hi, I think we can all say that we've cried a lot in our lives. Even if you think you haven't, on average a human cries 15 to 30 gallons per year. That's an awful lot. But have you ever wondered how you're actually crying? And why your nose gets clogged? To understand that, let's first cut to the basics. The lacrimal gland is what generates tears and holds them. The water then falls down into the eye, creating tear water. The drainage system, the upper punctum and lower punctum, drain to the tear duct, which drains to the nose, which is why when the tears come, a stuffy nose usually follows. When the drainage system overflows, the tear water then spills out the eye down the cheek. Did you know that there are three types of tears? The first type of tear is a basal tear. Basal tears are always in your eyes to lubricate, nourish, and protect your cornea. You use about five to 10 ounces each day. Tears have three layers. The first layer, an inner mucus layer, keeps the tear fastened to the eye. The second layer, a watery middle layer, also the thickest layer, keeps the eye hydrated, repels bacteria, and protects the cornea, which accounts for 82% of your focusing power. The third layer, an outer oily layer, smooths the surface of the tear so the eye can see through it and prevents the other tears from evaporating. The tear film spreads over your eye every time you blink. The second type of tear is a reflex tear. Reflex tears are formed when your eyes need to wash away harmful irritants like onions, smoke, wind, and dust. Reflex tears are released in larger amounts than basal tears and contain more antibodies to fight bacteria. To make this possible, the sensory nerves in your cornea communicate this irritation to your brainstem, which in turn sends hormones to the glands in your eyelid. These hormones cause the eye to produce tears. The third type of tear is an emotional tear. Emotional tears are produced in response to strong feelings, such as fear, happiness, <laughs> and sadness. It all starts in cerebrum, where sadness is registered. The endocrine system is then triggered, releasing hormones to the ocular area. Several chemicals are found in emotional tears, including leucine and caffeine, an endorphin that reduces pain and helps improve one's mood, while reflex tears in 98% water. For the first year of their life, babies are always crying. It's a way of communicating, whether they're hungry or have poop or pee in their pants. After babyhood, kids are believed to cry the same amount. As boys reach their teenage years, their levels of testosterone skyrocket, making their amount of crying plummet. The opposite happens for girls. As their estrogen levels begin to rise substantially, they start crying way more often. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two more about tears. Thanks for watching!